PVR Tech here with another video on how to build an open air mining rig for under $20. So let's take a look at our parts list. We're going to need some PVC pipes, some fittings, and some zip ties. So to get started, let's go ahead and measure our board. You'll see my board here is about a foot. So it's important to remember when you're cutting your PVC pipe, you need to add about an inch to that. If it's a little short or a little long, it's okay. Um, we have a little bit of play in the fittings, so we'll measure the other side of it. Again, adding that inch roughly to the end of it. With that complete, we'll go ahead and put our fittings on the end of the pipe, and we'll confirm that it fits properly up against the board. So it looks good, so let's mark our holes in the PVC pipe. So we'll take our Sharpie marks and we will go ahead and get out our drill and let's drill our holes. Now these will go clear through the pipe. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and put it under the board and we'll attach the board with some zip ties. We'll do the same thing for the other side. We'll mark our holes. We'll drill our holes clear through, and then we'll attach the other side with the zip ties. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the side pieces. Um, so go ahead and take our measurement and we'll cut it out. Um, these will actually be shorter, so more or less you're going to subtract two inches from our measurement. We're just going to go ahead and put that on and attach both sides. We'll make sure that it's on there nice and tight and firm. So we'll give it a good push. And uh, once we've tightened the sides and we know it's it's solid, we should be able to just lift it up and nothing's moving. There's no play in any part of it. Now we're going to go ahead and cut our vertical pieces. I went with six inches here. Really, this is whatever you want to go with. Um, six inches seem like more than enough. We'll put our PVC tees on top of those six inch pipes. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach our cross beams. So these horizontal pieces should be the same size as our first two horizontal pieces. And this layer is going to be the layer we use to mount our GPUs to. We're going to take off one of the two pieces and we're going to cut it straight down the middle. I'm going to use a uh, chop saw and just cut a small uh, rivet down the middle. Do not cut clear through. It really only needs to be on one side of it and that's for the brackets to sit down into. So we're gonna just take our GPU and set it in. Fits perfectly on both pieces. So with that done, we're going to go ahead and cut the last vertical pipes. And we're going to uh, make sure that these are the perfect height to set up against the top of the car. And what I mean by that is the horizontal uh, piece of pipe that's going to go across between them should set directly on the top of the cards. So our goal is to put pressure on there to help hold the card solid. So we're going to take that back off the saw and we're going to put it on. You'll see it, it lines up fairly perfect with the top of the GPU. So there you have it. We have a nice solid uh, touch on the top of the card. It's really not moving. You can see we're kind of spinning around. It's not going anywhere. And we're going to just repeat that with the back side now. So 
we've got the back side on. At this point, you want to go ahead and cut our horizontal pieces for the sides. With those cut, we'll go ahead and put them in place. Make sure you have a good, solid, uh, tight fit against the pipes with our connectors. Uh, again, we're not going to glue it this time around. You could certainly glue the connectors and, and the PVC together, but I want to make this as modular as possible so we can expand it later. Now I'm using an all-in-one cooler, so I'm going to go ahead and just attach that to the side with zip ties. Um, I'm sure a lot of you won't be using an all-in-one cooler your cooler will be mounted on top of the CPU. So there we go, we've got our cooler attached, and it's time to go ahead and install our PSU and our cards. Now this isn't my final power supply, I actually have another one on order that pumps out 1800 watts. I'm just kind of mounting this temporarily up top. In the end, I'll probably mount it down below, um, just above the motherboard. There you have it. A $20 open air um, mining rig frame. If you guys have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Mm -hmm.